It's time now for Alan Hahn's Knicks Fix. He's in the Squarespace studio. Al Trowick back on the Chase Bridge. What is the Billy Garrett story? Well, it begins with the fact that he isn't even supposed to be here. I mean, if you think about two years ago, uh, after he left undrafted out of DePaul, and he got into the G League by a tryout, didn't even play in the NBA Summer League that year as well, finds his way into the G League, and of course, the Knicks backcourt decimated with injuries, and he was the next man up. So a call he was always hoping to get, he actually finally did get last week. And that's when you just never know when that call is going to come. You have to be ready. Opportunity knock for Billy Garrett. The G League tryout was now an NBA player. And in his debut in Orlando, he, had, uh, he played 12 minutes. He got his first basket and officially now in the books. And he said when he saw that first shot going, he said, all right, I'm here now. Played 12 minutes in Orlando, 25 minutes in Houston. David Fisdale joked before the game tonight that he got a taste of what it's like to guard a superstar and some learning there as well. Now, Billy Garrett was always a prospect. It's not as if he was somebody that's completely off the radar. He was Big East Rookie of the Year at DePaul. Started all four years there. He's a son of a coach. His, his father, Billy Sr., is the assistant coach at DePaul. So this is a guy that has some game, and he's trying to prove that he belongs in the NBA, and these games matter to him. How about some further perspective on the Mario Hazonia triple-double? Yeah, I mean, again, a game that a lot of people would say would be a forgettable one for the Knicks is one that Mario Hazonia won't forget for a very long time. It's his first career triple-double, and for him at the point forward position, proving that he can play, he got the bulk of his work done in that triple-double in the fourth quarter, of course, with 6.7 rebounds, five assists for his 16, 16, and 11 triple-double. He knew he was close to it, and he went for it, and why not? Now, we're in an NBA, we're at a time in the NBA, Al, where triple-doubles are, first of all, Russell Westbrook is averaging one for the season, and there's a, a total of 120 now that have been accomplished in the NBA today. But in Knicks history, it's quite rare. In fact, Mario Hazonia is now on this list of only five players who have had a triple-double in the last 13, oh, sorry, 15 years, as you see the names there, Jarrett Jack, uh, two seasons ago, Carmelo Anthony back in 2012, Ray Felton, and David Lee had one as well back in 2010. There's been a total of 85 triple-doubles in Knicks history. The most is 23 by a single player. That, of course, is the great Walt Clyde Frazier. That's pretty cool. Uh, the Wizards' season has been a mess, and it's finally cost Ernie Grunfeld his job as GM. Where do they go now? Yeah, well, and, and the uh, owner of the team, Ted Leonsis, said that I'm doing a reboot, and it's time for that franchise to do that. They've been on the treadmill for quite a while as a team that has never won 50 games under Ernie Grunfeld and has never gotten out of the second round of the playoffs either. And despite the fact that they've had a lot of high draft picks and they've spent a lot of money on players throughout this process, they've just never been able to break away. Now, John Wall has been the signature player uh, in the time that Ernie Grunfeld has been the GM in his 16 seasons there. He was the number one overall pick in 2010. And he was supposed to carry them to an elite level. It just never happened. And you think about the $100 million contracts. That's one for Wall. Bradley Beal, who's been a terrific player as well. He has another one. Otto Porter not pictured. He has one as well, no longer on the team anymore. And then there's Gilbert Arenas. I should say Gilbert not pictured. Here's Otto Porter, now no longer even with the team. Arenas was the first to get the $100 million. So a lot of money spent by Ernie Grunfeld, and it has not panned out. So it's time to make a change. Tommy Shepard's been his longtime assistant. He now has taken over as the interim GM, and he might have a chance actually to get the job as the GM. But of course, keep an eye on David Griffin, the former Cavs GM, as there's a couple of jobs open in the league, and he's gonna be a very popular candidate. The Wizards now about to go into the process. Time for your stat of the night. Stat of the night is nine, and it's something I obsess over. These things matter to me, and some people think it's not that big of a deal. It matters to me. That's how many straight games the Wizards have won in this building. You got to remember this kind of stuff. It's one of three streaks by opponents in this building of nine or more. Rockets have nine in a row. The Cavaliers have 10, which is the longest active streak. Sometimes you got to put this stuff on the chalkboard and say, this needs to end.